morning story time, friends. I'm Miss Corinne, and it's time for Take Two Tales, your weekly Friday morning story time recap. Our story today is The Knight and the Dragon by Tommy DePaola. You might recognize this author and illustrator from his story, Streganona. Hmm, where have we heard that one before? Oh yeah, right here on Take Two Tales. Well, this story is a little different from that, but it's still got lots of magic and fun, and I think it's just as good. So let's go to the Shadow Puppet Theater. Once upon a time, there was a dragon. This dragon had heard that dragons were supposed to fight knights. That's just what dragons did. But he had never fought a knight before, and he didn't know how. So he went to the library, and he got some books on how to fight knights. He read about breathing fire, about flying around and swishing your tail and roaring until he thought he must know absolutely everything there is to know about fighting knights. Not far away in the same kingdom was a knight who had never fought a dragon, but he had heard that knights were supposed to fight dragons. So he went to the library and he got some books on fighting dragons. He read about riding on your horse and about swinging a sword and carrying a lance and knocking dragons out of the sky until finally he felt like he must know everything there was to know about fighting dragons. So the dragon and the knight were ready. They were going to fight. They went to the castle. They rode out and flew out in front of the castle. Tally-ho, dragon, are you ready to fight? I'm ready. One, two, three. Ah! And they ran at each other and, oh, they missed. Let's go again. Ah! I'm going to breathe fire on you. I'll knock you out of the sky. But they missed again. And they tried and they tried, but neither of them was any good at fighting. Even though they had read all of those books, they just tumbled and tripped and they got very tired. So they both sat down for a while. Why can't we figure this out? I don't know, good chap. And then the princess came out. She had been watching them from the castle tower. She didn't say anything, but she stood between them and gave them each a book. To the dragon, she gave a book called Flame Broiled Cooking, How to Make Delicious Fire Cooked Meals Out of Meat. And to the knight, she gave a book called Opening Your Own Restaurant. They both read and, and read, and then they looked at each other. I say, good chap, would you like to open a restaurant? The knight asked. I think we'd be a great pair said the dragon, and so they did. The end. Well, what did you think of that? What do you think about the princess? She seemed to have some really good book recommendations. I wonder if she works in a library. Hmm. Well, I hope that you will check out this book and see some of the wonderful illustrations from Tommy DePaola. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye. So I thought I might show you guys a little bit of the magic behind the Shadow Puppet Theater. It looks really cool, and it is pretty cool, but it's actually really simple. Simple enough that you could do it at home. I have a light and I have my shapes cut out of black poster board. If I need a shape to stay still, I put it in a piece of styrofoam. And the frame 
is just foam core with a plastic tablecloth stretched across it. And you got to get a bright, direct light bulb, and then you can create your very own shadow puppet stories.